little bit. I got a little distracted. Went home early. Exams are practically done. There's no school tomorrow. I can just relax. I wanted to look for new games to play. I technically don't need to, but you know. Just had the urge. Although I would have loved to play more after an Odyssey today. Yeah. 
see here, the longest run that you've had, right at the beginning, is three heads. And then you've pretty much alternated between tails and heads, tails and heads. The most run that you've had of tails or heads is two in a row. And you showed a pattern there. This demonstrates something called the gambler's fallacy. The gambler's fallacy is, says that what's happened before has an impact on what will happen next. If we were using a coin, every time you flip it, there's an equal probability that you're going to get a head or a tail. Now, a lot of people think, well, how does that work? Because, you know, you're flipping coins, surely it's not very likely to have you know, five heads in a row, six heads in a row. But this is the nature of randomness. Randomness is very lumpy, right? And lumpiness means that you do get streaks, which is part of the gambler's lexicon, you know, it's like we have a gambling streak. So you actually have not produced a very good random sequence. You didn't put enough long streaks in. You didn't put enough streaks in, no. This, this is actually, would be termed homogeneous. This is actually quite mixed. The number of ways that we can have 20 heads or tails, the number of permutations we can have, is pretty big. So we can basically get a head or a tail in each position, and there's 20 positions. So the total number of permutations, not combinations, but fixed order is 2 to the power 20. And that turns out to be 1,048,576. Because you've done a permutation which has a maximum streak of either three heads or three tails, you only had one little tiny streak right at the beginning, which is quite interesting, that is a subset of every single permutation. But this is actually representative of the way you think, and not just you, Brady. A lot of people think exactly like you. If they were to do random, they think mixed up. Well, that's what people think, but random isn't mixed up. It random is what's random. Calm, you know? Okay. Called the dinner already. My bad. Dinner's early. <laughs>